The Large Pixel Collider is the most powerful PC we've ever built. When we resurrected the LPC project this year, we created an appropriately insane concept to match our powerful computer. The Ark of the Covenant, as seen in Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. A gold box of pure, unfathomable power. Of course, we had to make sure the components on the inside lived up to that reputation. That begins with the top shelf CPU. For the LPC build, we decided to go with the Core i7-6950X processor from Intel because we needed the most uncompromisingly fast chip we could get our hands on. Using Intel's Turbo Boost Max 3.0, the 6950X automatically boosts the CPU when needed, up to a blazing 4 GHz on our 10 cores. And we can even pin individual tasks we're running on the LPC to individual CPU cores. But the 6950X also allows us to expand our build, opening up a maximum 40 PCIe lanes. More lanes means we don't have to compromise what other components we put in our machine. We're able to include two NVIDIA Titan Xs, two 1.2 terabyte PCIe SSDs, four Seagate Barracuda Pro 10 terabyte hard drives, and upgrade without worry in the future. Running a game beyond maximum settings isn't our only goal with the LPC. We need a machine that can process recording, run streaming software, and encode the videos we record, all without dropping frames. With a machine like this, we'll be able to megatask, run our games at insane settings on a 4K monitor while recording and streaming at 60 FPS or more. We're gonna be able to do it all at the same time. The Core i7-6950X will let us use the LPC as a world-class video editing rig. We want an insanely powerful desktop PC that can not only capture high-quality max setting 4K gameplay videos, but be able to handle and export the files. We love games developed to test and push the boundaries of technology, and we want a machine that can showcase what these games can be. Many top-tier games require tremendous amounts of processing power to handle AI, complex world geometry, and all the visual effects layered atop the experience. Not only does the CPU help boost the GPU's effectiveness when processing graphics, but it also allows us to run CPU-intensive games with high levels of simulation. Games like Total War Warhammer, where we'll be fielding vast armies of individually rendered soldiers with their own animations. And in fast-paced competitive shooters like Titanfall 2, where split-second reactions make all the difference. And VR games, which are finally finding their stride and pushing the limits of PC processing power. Games like Forza Horizon 3, where we need an insane frame rate to keep up with our supercars and every graphical effect enabled. The 6950X will also help us in massive scale, high fidelity games like Arma 3, which represents the peak of military simulation. But it'll also help us get to our next turn faster in Civilization VI, the newest iteration of Firaxis's beloved series, which has a complex set of systems driving the gameplay and AI. Our irresponsibly powerful gaming machine is coming together and we're excited to show it off. Stay tuned to see more of the build and ultra settings gameplay videos at PCGamer.com.